Good morning, Lake View Church. This is Mark. I'm one of the elders, and I just uh, want to share with you a little devotional this morning. I'll try to keep it short, which is really tough for me, so here we go. Um, as I was praying this past week for what God would want me to share with you, both on Sunday as I was uh, the host there, and today, he laid on my heart basically that he is our rock, our fortress, our redeemer, our deliverer. And uh, with all the things that have happened over the past few months, it just keeps piling up. And, uh, you know, like this past week, yet another COVID order went out. Uh, and so we're, most of us are wearing face coverings, even in church. And this, this was a new thing this past Sunday. If you were there, you saw uh, so many changes in a short amount of time and so much news and updates, etc. It's lasted longer than any of us thought it would have to. And uh, it, conspiracy theories abound, false science abounds, politically motivated people and organizations uh, seem to be using this. Uh, not letting a good crisis go to waste, so to speak. Um, it just keeps going. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share with you a few verses that I um, did a little research on. And uh, one of them that I shared on 830, uh, at the 830 service was Psalm 18, 1 through 3. It says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock, in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. I called on the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. In Second Samuel 22, verse 2, it says, He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. My shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge and my Savior. From violent people, you saved me. There's a few others. Uh, Psalm 71, 3. Psalm 62, 7 through 8. And Psalm 31, 3 and 4 are all good um, references to how God is our rock and our fortress. <clears throat> and there's others that talk about there's no other God like the God we have. Um... 1 Samuel 2, verse 2, There is no holy God like the Lord. There is no God but you. There is no rock like our God. And <clears throat> so I just wanted that to be your focus today. Um, we may not know, as the saying goes, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. And he is trustworthy. He loves you, and He is the Almighty Creator and Redeemer. So, let me just read to you, um, if I had a great, great voice, I could sing a cappella, a cappella. But, um, there is a, a song, a hymn, that I enjoy, and I, I did enjoy when I was younger as well. And it's called, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And I just want to read you at least one stanza <clears throat> from it. I love hymns because um, uh, they have a whole, they have so much meat in them, in most of them. Um, there's a story or a sermon in, in these songs. And so I'll just read that first stanza. It says, What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. The second stanza, I'll read that as well. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share. 
Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. So, <clears throat> let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our God, our rock, our fortress, our redeemer. That you love us. That you care for each each thing in our lives that happens. and You care for the very hairs in our head. You count them. It's amazing how you created the universe and all that's in it when we look out at the stars and the galaxy that we can see and then know that there's many more. It's infinite as far as we know. Just like you are. And yet you care about us. We take refuge in that. We take comfort in that. I think of First Peter 5, 7 where it says, cast all your cares on him for he cares for you. And that word cast, as I was understood, <clears throat> doesn't even mean like fly casting. It just means I just need to drop them at your feet. It takes no effort. Just need to let go. Thank you for that. Thank you for who you are. We love you. We honor you. We take refuge in you today. Amen. All the best to you today. Bye.